garbage site. Talk to me about how this methane is created. Well, natural decomposition of, of organic material, things that you put in a landfill, um, waste materials, when it decomposes, the natural things that happen generate methane and carbon dioxide. And the landfill gas is about 50% each. 50% methane, 50% carbon dioxide. And natural gas is almost 100% methane. So what you wind up with a landfill is a gas that's about one half as energy, uh, it contains about one half the energy uh, of natural gas. So you scoop off the, the methane and bring it over here? No, they have, we actually use the entire gas stream. So, so what comes here to our plant is the 50% methane and 50% CO2 mixture. Obviously CO2 doesn't do anything, uh, doesn't have any energy associated with it. The methane, actually when you burn it, uh, forms CO2. Okay, so what happens to the, if you're getting 50% methane, 50% CO2, what do you do with the CO2 when it comes here? Just, it just passes, it just passes through the, the turbines. So you have to use twice as much landfill gas uh, as, as, as natural gas to get the same amount of energy. When we use the landfill gas in our turbines, if the engine burns it, it turns a generator which creates electrical energy. That's just how your power companies do it as well. Uh, we do it on a smaller scale than, than your power companies, obviously. But, uh, but it creates the electrical energy for the generator, and then the hot gases from burning the landfill gas actually go through water coils. It heats the water. So we actually provide hot water to the plant, which is needed, and, uh, and get thermal energy that way. So we get electrical energy and thermal energy from the same fuel source. The, the turbines that we were using in 2003, we had four small turbines. We ran those for about six years. Decided that, uh, that the newer technology with turbines, now that those were 25 years old, the newer technology is more efficient. So with these two turbines using the same amount of gas as the, as the previous four turbines, we can generate twice the amount of electrical energy, the same amount of landfill gas. So where we were generating about 5 megawatts, we're now generating about 11, 11 megawatts of electrical energy with the same amount of hot water being generated. You're using about 40 megawatts of electricity all together. The plant consumes about 40 megawatts of electricity, correct. And you're, sa and you're saving about, a, you're using about a quarter of that is this project. Yeah, we're, we're generating about one fourth of that. We're generating 11 megawatts of the 40 that we need with these two turbines. And you're saving about five million dollars a year by using this instead yeah. of buying natural gas. Yeah, the cost savings for us uh, are, are about five million dollars per year uh, versus the other forms of energy that we could purchase. We've already talked about the cost savings to end, but I also want to make you aware of the environmental benefits of a project like this. Um, landfill gas is required by EPA to be burned by a landfill, a large landfill. They have to burn those gases because they're very strong greenhouse gases, which everyone is concerned about these days. Um, the landfill gas, is, is, when it's flared at the landfill, that energy is wasted. And we're actually using an energy source that was previously being wasted. They had two flares that were going 24 hours per day, seven days a week, and burning the landfill gas that they had to burn. And by using that energy, we actually are reducing the amount of carbon dioxide from in the upstate of South Carolina by over 90,000 tons per year. The, the demand, the electrical demand for our plant is around 40 megawatts. So from electrical energy, we're getting about one-fourth of what the plant needs. The thermal energy, it's much higher. The, the percentage is much higher. The overall energy that we get from landfill gas is about 60% of the total plant. All right. Briggs, thank you very much. Thank you. For